It looked like I was about to fall out. Oh, shit, dude. That could have been really bad. Imagine if I would have fucking... Oh, no. I think they might be going for me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to DOJ. Jumping in here, doing some criminal, but not really criminal. It's like a mixture of civilian and criminal, but this one is going to be cool and different only because of how this vehicle is set up, and I'm going to show you that here in a second. It's that vehicle off in the bottom right-hand corner. You can hardly see it. I just don't want it to disappear. That's why I'm keeping my eye on it. Uh, but this is going to be pretty cool. We're going to see how long this will last before a cop is able to put two and two together and realize that this is possibly not allowed. Um, and we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the vehicle. It is going to be a no marking black and white Dodge Charger Ram Bar Spotlights. Red and blues, of course, because it is a police car, but this is an unmarked texture and you can split the uh, texture into two colors. <laughs> it just, it looks badass, but I could, I could already see this is gonna get us in trouble, so. Uh, I don't have any plans on police impersonating today, but if we don't get fucked with, even if we do get fucked with, we could bring this back and try to do some, uh, police impersonation, maybe at nighttime. Oh my god, that would work. Nighttime would be totally easy to get away with some shit. So, again, I don't think this episode's gonna be police impersonated, uh, related. I just want it to be ex-police car related. See if we can get a ticket for operating a vehicle that maybe looks like a police car. I'm not sure if that's in the penal code, uh, so that's gonna have to be something they kind of look at and see if it is or not. So, keep vehicle clean. Oh, that's right. The dirt textures, they like to stick there no matter what, because that's just, that's dirt. You gotta love it. Oh, shit. <laughs> I wonder if people are gonna know he just drove by. He didn't honk. Maybe I should try to honk. I gotta change the SA exempt plate. I'm gonna put on just a regular plate so it kind of looks normal. Also, what I have to do is I gotta register this shit. Um, let me register it before we go. So I'm just gonna do a normal day driving. We can go to the pub and stuff like that, get some drinks and all that fun stuff. But my whole goal is to kind of just see how the cops react. I think that just driving past them, they're not gonna be able to really connect the dots with anything here. Um, I don't know. It's gonna have to be something we see. I really could not tell you register current vehicle success. All right And this is the all-wheel drive Version which I do not have the thing there. That was just there. That's weird. Oh There it is So this is the all-wheel drive version uh, So a little more stable or even though I don't think it really changes. Oh, ow. Yeah, it really changes per thing the only unfortunate part when you do that is, on my screen it didn't break anything, but on everyone else's it's gonna look like I hit a elephant slash dolphin. So, we might want to get that fixed, that's why I just fixed it really quick, that way it doesn't look jank to everyone else. But now, here starts the uh, normal daily driving in an ex-police car. Something I have done before, not often in a black and white. I remember I got one uh, Crown Vic that was black and white. Uh, and that lasted, yeah, maybe a week or two before I brought it to the paint shop, just because I fucking hated it. Got it all black. I wonder if people are gonna think we're a cop. We could roll up on people and just be like, hey, how's it- Oh! Damn, you are getting chased, bitch! Is he running? Oh my god. That, I was not expecting to see right there. Oh, he might be running. I'm not a cop, but- Oh, you are gonna get fucked with, dude. I'm gonna turn around right here. <laughs> I'm acting like a cop. Hey, man. Hey. That motherfucker almost hit me. Okay, just stand by your car. We'll take care of it. Alright, you want me to write like a wait, uh, report or something? Yeah, yeah, just be patient with us. We just got him pulled over. No, just yeah, I saw you. And we'll get right to you. Alright, I'll be over there. Okay, thank you, sir. Sure thing. I'll hang out. We got nothing else to do. He almost fucking hit me, though. Smashing around the corner. Dude, you're already gonna get pulled over. You might as well relax. Like, shit. Unless you're gonna run, you might as well fucking run. But if not, fucking relax. Like, also, this is a good way to, like, just get the presence of my car out there. Uh, so again, like I said last episode, there's been a new car pack. So, uh, these sheriff cars that you're seeing are actually new ones for the sheriff department. Uh, which is going to be mixed in with some old LEO until I can get through those episodes that I've created. Oh, are they gonna... 
Oh no, he might just be doing that. So I can get those, through those old episodes that I created and then kind of get off into the new LEO ones. But man, am I excited to get those out there because these cars are bad ass. So I'm just going to hang about. I believe my name is Danny DeVito. That's usually that guy that has the twang, but I'm not going to add it to this one. It's just a normal guy. Just a normal guy. After that I Irish accent one, it's just it's too much right now. I've, I've got to stop. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, shouts to owner of Black White Charger, I'm sorry for almost hitting you. Uh, slash... Me... Oh, fuck, hold on. Waves... To guy... In Black Charger and... Mouths... It's okay. <laughs> there we go. I'm still gonna let them know that, like, that's not cool because that's kind of fucked up. You know what I mean? I just bought this car from that junkyard. They had it for an extremely good price. I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the episode. That's where this car came from. We got it from a junkyard. <laughs> we bought it. Obviously, it's a decommissioned police car, but... Still, nonetheless, just bought the son of a bitch. Would like to be able to keep it more than five and a half fucking minutes before someone ruins it. And that guy was doing jank shit all the way... Oh, my... Goodness! Oh, wow. No one else saw that, I don't think. And if they did, I don't think there's anyone else that can uh, handle that. I so, so badly wanted to jump in this car and go chase after him. But I'm not a cop, so we can't do that. Or else we can get in some major trouble, so... Uh, we'll hang out here for a minute. We'll talk to the cops, and then we'll probably move off from this location. We'll probably scare the shit out of people when it comes to... Oh, wow, that guy that did that jank shit past that one sheriff car and I guess wasn't speeding and didn't get pulled over. That's pretty fucking surprising. So why is it you're driving like this again? Okay, I think he's ready to talk to me. Hello, sir. How you doing? Deputy Anderson with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Did he uh, hit you? He didn't hit me, but he almost hit me. I was coming out of the gas station there and he uh, swung it wide and cut it over pretty quick. He didn't hit me. Obviously, you guys are chasing him, but I wanted to let you all know that he almost literally collided into my car that I just got fucking literally today. Alright. Yeah, we, we saw the... He's been driving erratic. He's probably gonna uh, either receive a citation for the reckless driving, or he, we might even put him for public endangerment, but uh, beyond that, unless he hits you, uh, I have no... No further need for your uh, uh, your presence here. Yeah, Unless I'll take off. I just wanted off. to make sure that y'all knew that he almost hit me versus you guys not seeing it and then only seeing what you thought he saw. You know, or what 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 you saw he did. Oh, absolutely, sir. Thank you so much for stopping. Yep, absolutely. All right, yeah, you guys have a good one. Yep, stay safe. Thank you. <laughs> just a guy in a regular ass car. What do you mean, stay safe? <laughs> Uh, then again, I almost just got hit, so I guess that's a feasible thing to say to someone. I'm gonna look at some of the equipment that's in here. Let me see if they left anything. I wonder if they left, like, a radar or something. Oh, shit, they got a radar up in this bitch. I probably don't want to use it, but that's pretty nifty. I got all the bells and whistles in this fucking ex-police car. I got this bitch. Here, I'm gonna go on private property really quick. And we're gonna show y'all. Technically, it's it's legal on private property, which is what this is. So we're gonna back up into this space, and we're gonna go ahead and I'll turn on the spotlights for y'all. So these are the takedowns. Look pretty snap. Why is the fucking hazards on? And then these are the uh, police lights. Oh yeah, we got this whole bitch completely decked the fuck out. Got some backlights, some uh, white flashers. Red and blue in the license plates. And then, of course, my favorite. Oh, yeah. That whole fucking siren. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That is a package in itself right there. Extremely <laughs> illegal. But nonetheless, pretty cool. So as long as we use it on private property, we can't ever get fucked with. If we use it on the roadway, then obviously we're going to get... 
Ooh, we're, we're not gonna be looking good, I'll tell you that. So, this is, uh, pretty badass, though. So let's go ahead and hit up. It's about to be nighttime, so... I think we're gonna blend in a little more with what's going on around us. Uh, you know what? I, I you know what would be pretty cool is if we went to the police station and was like, Hey, I just bought this car, I know it has all this lights and stuff, but as long as I don't use it right, I won't get in trouble. You know what I mean? Oh, there's a sheriff there, too. Perfect. I'll pull up. I'm gonna have him do a vehicle inspection. Or, not a vehicle inspection, but a, uh, just a clerical. Just some clarify some questions. Hey, buddy, I got a question for you. You there? Hey, you there? Fucking not here. All right, we're gonna have to do it the old school way. Me rings bell at SSPD. I uh, know SS Sheriff Station. Hey, anyone here? Anyone here that's alive? Has a conscious? Is breathing? Yellow shalom. Nope, no, <laughs> no one at all. All right, we're gonna have to fucking hang out until someone. Decides to help me. Oh, did I do slash me? Yep. Rings. Rings. Bell. At. Sheriff. Station. No. That's not it. There we go. I put, uh, I did not put... <laughs> that was not right at first. That was not right. So basically I want to do some clerical questions. Make sure... Hello. Oh. How you doing, sir? What can I do for you? Oh, how you doing? I just had some questions. I just bought this, uh, Dodge Charger from the junkyard. That one out there. Okay. And it's a decommissioned cop car. It has all the lights and all that shit, the siren. I just wanted to make sure as long as I don't use it, I won't get in trouble, right? Like, I, I, I can't use it on the roadway. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm good, right? I'm sorry, what was that? I, I had somebody in my ear. I said, I just bought this car, it's a decommissioned cop car, but it still has all the bells and whistles on it. Like, you know, sirens, red and blues and all that. I just want to make sure as long as I don't use it on the roadway, I'm all good, right? Um, as long as you are not actively using the lights and sirens on the roadway, you're... Okay, and if I get bored and I want to, like, pull off into a parking lot or private property or off-road, I could turn them on and look at them and shit like that? Um, if you're on your private property, I... I don't think that would be an issue, but my advice to you would be just to avoid any type of misunderstanding or miscommunication, take it over to, uh, to Los Angeles Customs, have them remove the lights, and that's for your benefit as well as ours. Uh, last thing I want to be doing is um, having to deal with a decommissioned police car and the... Yeah, but black and, but like black and white speaking, if we're, you know, not black and white police car, but like, you know, if we're speaking black and white, technically off-road and or private property, right? If I can't remember, I've never had a decommissioned cop car, but I've heard people talk, um, talk about it before. So I just uh, want to make sure I know what the law states about it. I would say that as far as private property is concerned, I know me personally, I wouldn't have an issue with it if you private property uh the dirt roads since we actually do patrol the dirt roads are technically considered like off-road off-road like if you go camping and uh you're at a campsite or you know say you go hunting and you're just in the middle of the nowhere you know what i mean like that type of off-road not like dirt off-road <laughs> like um you know i'm i'm actually not really sure would you would you mind looking in uh, your penal code book and see if you could find something that way I could make sure I'm a responsible citizen? Uh, yeah, I can uh, take a look. Actually, I can actually have a supervisor come down. Yeah, I mean whatever he works. Might be able to I'm that. I'm hanging out. I got an appointment at Los Santos Customs to get some uh, airbags for you know suspension and stuff. But I would like to keep it how it is. It's it, it looks cool, and as long as it's not illegal, I'd like to keep it how it is because I. I'm not gonna fuck with anything, you know what I mean? Like turn it on or anything. Yeah, I mean I understand that. Um, let me just go ahead and get a supervisor down here real quick, and he might be. Okay, I, I actually have no idea. 
I preach. I'm just gonna take a seat then. Keep moving it. All right, sounds good. All right. Okay, so he's gonna get a supervisor down here to see if uh, he can give me a little more um, answers on this. He just doesn't have the knowledge. I don't either, honestly, of, of what the penal code is and DOJ for it. Technically, I would assume if I do not turn on the lights on a roadway, we would be good. But hey, we're giving some roleplay right now on something that I don't think has been done before in a black and white retired cop car. Like, we've had the retired cop car before, but all we had was the black and white paint. So, technically, the black and white paint might be illegal, but he might not know that, which is how you could get away with technically breaking the law. So, I don't even have the penal code up right now, where I would totally look at it. Oh, that's a bummer. So, we're going to hang about really quick, wait for the supervisor to get on scene, get some information from him, from him and then we'll be able to take off out of here. Sounds like I have a uh, supervisor. Okay, perfect. I I, I appreciate it. Yeah, I you know I don't want to sit here and and then you know. No, yeah, I totally get you. I appreciate you helping me out though. Yeah, it's not a problem. Hey, man. Yeah, what's up? Is, is that your charger outside? Yeah, it's mine. I just picked her up. Nice. I mean, I'm I'm pretty sorry for reckless driving, man. I didn't mean to. I didn't oh, mean yeah, that was you. Me. Yeah, I mean, I just got that thing. That's why I was kind of upset, you know? Yeah, man, I kind of, I've been building my muscle car for five years. I just finished it today, so I was just taking up for a spin. You know how it is. I mean, yeah, but that was some pretty reckless ass shit. Yeah, man. <laughs> like, I, I mean, I, yeah, man. I, I just uh, needed to come speak here, to you. Sir. He, he just pulled in. Oh. Okay. Yeah, man, I, I just need to speak with you about something. So do you want to meet me at the motel just down the street from here whenever you're free? Uh, What's it about? Hey, Why is everyone oh, so... You know, so, so uh, Something yeah, the gentleman over secret. there in the black and red jacket. Okay, well, I gotta talk to these guys, but, uh, if I got some time, uh, I'll swing through there, alright? Driving his uncommissioned police cruiser, something about the lights and sirens on off-roading and yeah, private I property. I wasn't yeah, man, really I'll, I'll, sure, I'll and all right. I have no idea where they put the penal code book around. Okay, it always seems to go missing. Yeah, so... Hello, sir, my name is, uh, Lieutenant Holy with the San Andreas High Patrol. Not gonna help you. Nice to meet you. How's it going? So basically, uh, I bought this cop car out here from the junkyard down the road, Cat Claw. And it's decommissioned, but it still has all the lights, sirens, and you know, all the bells and whistles and all that shit. So I was, I was asking him if, as long as I didn't use it on the roadway, I'd be good, right? Because I like the way it looks. It's, you know, it's obviously, it looks cool and stuff. So as long as I don't use the lights and all that stuff, it's, it's fine to keep as is. Yeah, true. Um... Hmm. Huh. Quite interesting. That's an interesting thing to look at. Um, I think our penal code right now only defines public roadways. Uh, I will have to double check on that for. Uh, I will have to double check on that for sure, because uh, I don't want to give you false information. Actually, you know, you go to jail for impersonating impersonating cop. Yeah, yeah, sure. That's why I'm here trying to figure it out. You know, I haven't been messed with at all, uh, yet. But I just kind of wanted to double check. Like I. As long as I don't turn on the lights, sirens, and all that, I assume it's just a regular car. You know what I mean? Unless I'm, like, on, like, dirt camping, and then I could, like, turn them on and look at them or whatever. Yeah, I get you. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, it's probably up to interpretation of the courts. Um, you know, I would assume in private property, you know, you should be fine. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's all up to interpretation here. Okay, well, I mean, just generally looking at it, I guess driving it as is would be fine as long as someone doesn't see the red or blue lights on or something like that. Yeah, because if they see you and, um, 
you know, trying to pass traffic or anything like that, you you can't get arrested for impersonation. Of, uh, but that's with the lights uh, on, right? Not with the lights off. Like, I can yes, still overtake yes. a car and not be pinned for police impersonation, right? Like, that would be kind of fucked up. Just doing normal stuff, but it's like, oh, well, he's in an ex police car, so let's fuck with them. Like, that shit was really cheap. That's why I ended up getting it. So. So I told my partner, I asked my partner if he can uh, search up the law book for us. So what the penal code says, says um, I believe that's Title 8, Section 28, is it? Probably going to be no black and white. If I'm not mistaken. Yep, so it's going to be Title 8, Section 28. Um, it says that as long as no red or blue lights are visible, uh, the vehicle is considered roadworthy. So, okay, so they have to be clear lenses. Well, in, in that case... If, and and if turned on red and blue then, also. Yeah, because in this case, if you don't have them on, then are they really visible? Yeah, okay, so the red and blue, it's the issue of the red and blue. Well, because some, some lights are tinted yeah. red and blue even with them off. So that's why I wanted to make sure yeah. that it's like, as long as they're clear lenses and not on, then it's okay. Yeah, don't, yeah just don't uh, use them on the roadways. I mean, if you're going to use them in your property, I guess use them. Um, honestly, I've seen uh, individuals with like um, police uh, light bars on their vehicles and just put them on in their house. So. Yeah, sure. All right. Well, I think I got some information here, so I appreciate your guys' this time. Yeah, no problem. Just make it's sure you use them on, on, the, on the road race. Um, in terms of the dirt roads and all that stuff, that those are considered public roadways. Um, so I'd recommend not using them. And in terms of private property, I only recommend using them in your property as well. Because if you go to, like, let's say, um, a mall parking lot, you know, they're going to think you're an officer or something like that. So. All right. Well, it's uh, all, all stuff considered. I appreciate it. So thank you guys so much. No problem. You have a nice day. You too. Have a good day, sir. You too. I don't know why this guy's still out here waiting. Holy shit. Hey, thanks for coming down the tonight. Yeah, no problem. I mean, at the end of the day, it's like how I told him. It's, it's <laughs> that must really have been. I mean, Still here? God damn. Say. You don't got nothing better to do? To what happened, but. Well, man, I was say, just uh, curious, man, about your car. they can, I have it, so. What about it? Alright, I'm gonna step outside. We... And... How about we go somewhere a little less quiet and I'll tell you what I really need? I don't even know what that means, man. I don't sell drugs. I don't have weapons. I don't. I don't even know what you want. I'm just a regular dude, bro. I'm, not. I'm just curious about your car, man. I just. I just have a few questions. Well, I'm if you want one myself, yeah. In the junkyard. Well, then why the hell do we need to go down to the Cuddy Asabana Motel to talk about that? <laughs> like, no, I mean we can go wherever you want. I, I think here is perfect. A lot of people talking. This is a well, then, beautiful, vibrant, perfect. lit up place where I can't get hurt. <laughs> like. Yeah, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm I'm the I'm the least person likely to hurt you. So you know the junkyard down there on Catclaw? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I uh, I picked it up there for about ten thousand. Ten thousand for that? Yep. Jeez. Has about twenty thousand miles. And it's got like all the modifications that the police use and stuff. Yep, yep, yep. Sure does. Just talked to with them about I mean, it though. I'm not not too legal to use any of it though. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah, that's self-explanatory, really, isn't it? I mean, I'm I'm a good boy. I've never been in a police <laughs> I'm car. I'm a man. good boy. I mean, if, if you got if you got a free space, man, I wouldn't mind getting a ride around town. If you don't mind, I can I can pay. I don't. Well, mind. I'll swing you through Harmony and back up here if you want. Yeah, man, that'll be cool. You want me in the back or the front? Oh, front's fine. Everything oh, okay no. over here? No, yeah, we're good. All right, Thanks, take sir. it easy, sir. Have a good one. Okay, so we're gonna roll down man, on the window. This is nice, man. For, for ten grand, this is a lot. Yeah, it's not bad for ten grand. It'll do. It's got the RAM bar and it's got the RAM bar, the the, the laptop and everything, man. I take it the laptop, it's not working, no. No, surprisingly everything works. I uh, I checked it out in a parking lot earlier and everything seemed to work. I turned on the lights, the sirens, 
Uh, the spotlights, everything seemed to still be connected and working. I can go on the web, on the laptop, all that shit. Oh, man. And do you have any, like, plans? Like, what are you going to do with it? Or are you just going to keep it for, like, collector's edition sort of thing, you know? I'm probably just going to keep it as is. Uh, I, that's why I wanted to talk to them, make sure it was all legal to keep as is. And they said it was legal. Yeah. So, I'm yeah. going to keep it as is. Nice. I mean, what sort of car do you drive when you ain't driving this one then? Because obviously I, I, I hear that this one's pretty new. Or what did you drive before? Well, it was a uh, Penumbra, but I wrecked that on the 13. Oh, damn. Yeah. Yeah, man, I didn't catch up. I didn't catch your name. Oh, my name, uh, well, besides me getting cut off by a cop, um, my name... Yeah, man, that was Jane. My name's Danny. Just give me one Danny? sec, guy. Uh, there looks to be a uh, spider crawling on my damn door here. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, that's fine, man. Okay, don't worry, we gotta kill that. <laughs> yeah, man, if you see a spider, you kill that spider, you know how it is. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna let that motherfucker man. crawl. <laughs> like, yeah, man, you say your name is Danny? Yeah, Danny. Danny D. Danny D, my name's Dominic, man. Ah, nice Dom to meet T. you. Dommy T, there it is. Yeah, man, so do you, have, do you have any plans for the rest of the day? You, uh, just driving around? Oh, I'm just gonna take you around and go do some errands. Yeah, man, that sounds fine. Oh, what are you doing? This guy is going well, super slow. Workers. Uh, not working right now. I got that workers, uh, or I got that uh, disability from that accident coming in. So I kind of just uh, decided to take some time off. I uh, used half the check on this thing. Get myself a new car. Yeah. Damn, that guy's driving yeah, like a that's, dick that's up there. Nice, man. I mean, you definitely got more than you bargained for, man. This car is so nice. Yeah, I mean, they got some Crown Vicks. I know I took the last Charger, the one and only they had, but I know they got some Crown Vicks down there. I know they got some decommissioned Crown Vicks down there. And decommissioned? Does that mean, like, they're ex-police vehicles? They ain't being used no more? Uh, well, the ones I saw were mostly taxi cabs, but nonetheless, you still kind of get some of the stuff in it. You know, they take most of it out for comfortability, but you still kind of get some of it. Yeah, because I was, I was looking on YouTube, and uh, I seen this guy posting some videos where he was undercover in a taxi cab, and man, that was crazy. <laughs> There's so many people the going down this road. road. Yeah, something like that, around the same thing. You can add stuff to it. You can put a push bar and stuff on it if you want. Yeah, man, that sounds crazy. So, are you, are you into your cars and stuff, or...? Yeah, they're, uh... When I when they're not broken. So, man, how, how did this accident happen, man? Oh, them dumbass US Route 13 drivers, you know? Yeah, man, you get them way too often. <laughs> that guy probably thought he was getting followed by a fucking cop. Yeah, yeah we... I wrecked my... I, yeah, man, I wrecked my Charger about ten years ago. Ten years ago? dust for five years and then five years ago I decided you know maybe I need to get it back on the road so for five years I've been working on it and I finally get it working today and I'm all, almost crashed into you man yeah that's definitely would have sucked because he would have crashed into my charger yeah man oh that news van's getting pulled over oh that news van behind us got pulled over yeah the difference between this car and my car is this one was made 40 years later. I knew I saw a car there. It was made back in the 1970s. Yeah, for real. But to be honest, they still pump as much power. Oh yeah, absolutely. Just not as much nice shit on the inside. Yeah, for sure, man. I mean, I used to race around the track on the oval tracks, so I'm, I'm used to I'm used to no chassis, man. Just a round bar, just the. Uh, you know how it is. Yeah, hopefully I can get through traffic a lot easier in this thing, having it be black and white. Yeah, 
Pac-Man for sure, but like, wouldn't that be counting as impersonating? No, not not technically. Not if you're just driving around. I mean, there's nothing there's nothing on it that says police or sheriff, so. Yeah, man. I mean, that's so that's nice. That's privileges for you, then. I sure hope. Is that coming towards us with lights on? No. Yeah, I think I fucked my charger up on a 24/7. Oh fuck! It seems to have uh, disappeared, but you know I'll find that one. Oh yeah, you gotta love yeah, it. Man, it was... Yeah man, it was nice to meet you though, Danny man. If you if you need help with anything, if you need any of your cars fixed, just send me a text on 25. All right. All right, man. We'll do. It was good meeting you. Awesome, man. You have a good one, man. You too. I like how he Stay says straight. if I need any cars fixed to hit him up, even though he's the one that almost broke my car in the first place. What the fuck? I accidentally hit that wall and I don't want it to be. Yep. See, it would have showed everyone a major accident on their screen. So that's interesting. We gave a guy a little, uh, a little ride in the police car. Is he not? Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, you about to get pulled I'm sorry. over. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can go. You can go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, you just See you failed. See ya. That was such a fucking fail. I'm so surprised the cop did not turn around and pull him over for that shit. Like, what the fuck, dude? Oh my god, it is popping off here. People are pulling in this fucking... Sheriff station like a motherfucker. Alright, I'm out of here. We're gonna go ahead and take what is this shit? That guy is acting super sketchy. Pulled into the sheriff station, pulled out of the sheriff station, and then is going like five miles per hour, and I think he went around the other side of the sheriff station. So I don't know what's going on with him. I'm gonna go down to the mod shop. We're gonna get some uh Oh my god, we're gonna get a turbo put on this thing. That would be so fucking dope. Oh yeah, that would be so sick. The shit that we can't do with the fucking cop car normally. Oh my god, dude. I bet these cops are like, what the fuck is going on with this charger? And, and there was that ambulance that honked at me earlier. I can't honk or wail back sirens or anything. I could honk probably, but I can't use the siren. If I use the siren, I'm gonna get fucked. Is my hazards on again? I don't think so. But yeah, if I use a siren, it's going to be bad news bears. And that's definitely not what I want uh, to do. So far, this is working well. Uh, we were able to have an interaction with the person who almost hit my fucking car. Have some uh, interaction with the cops that were on scene of the person almost hitting my car. And then the sheriff station, uh, we were able to kind of get some information... Which is pretty much just like real life. Like, it's pretty much just up to interpretation. What in the holy grail are you doing? You're an idiot. I wonder if I can change my horn. I'm gonna have him switch it out for a uh, regular horn. If that's even possible. I don't know if it is, but we're gonna try it. That way I don't have to worry about blaring this fucking air horn, even though I don't think that's gonna be possible. All right, let's go ahead and pull in here. Okay, so I'm gonna take, uh, we're gonna put turbo on. I'm gonna do the blue headlights. Oh, can we drop the suspension? I'm gonna do shit that I just wouldn't do normally. Truck horn. Wow, you can't change the fucking horn on the damn police car. That's kind of fucking... That's a bummer. Okay, well, at least we can do all that stuff. Uh, so we're gonna keep it all stock as is, uh, because I think it looks pretty damn good. It would be cool if we had the... air horn and stuff, because we can make people slow down like a motherfucker, so it'd be that one. So it'd be like the speaker sirens. Now we're pretty much 110% ready to go. So, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go, plate, edit, not a cop. <laughs> oh, and we're gonna make a black plate. This shit's gonna look fucking badass. We just made this a total personal cop, uh, like, per ex-police car. Oh, that thing looks sick from the back, not a cop. We've gotta re-register this car. 
if we want it to uh, make sense. That thing is so fucking sick. Now it's gonna be really, it's gonna be like easy to tell, but not easy because from the front it's still gonna look like a fucking cop car. Oh, this is just too good of an idea. I'm gonna use this fucking car so much. I don't want to use it for robberies because it's totally gonna ruin it and just gonna make it hot. Unless another character goes and buys one of these and uses it. That would be kind of cool, but I just don't know if that would work. All right, so this is uh, <laughs> this Dominic guy. That'd be hilarious if he's like, who's selling weed? And I was like, I am. And I roll up in a black and white charger. That would be fucking hilarious. All right, we're gonna have to go show off our new digs here uh, with the holy balls. He is not giving a fuck. <laughs> I looked like I was about to fall out. Oh shit, dude, that could have been really bad. Imagine if I would have fucking... <laughs> That cop was hella late. I really wish he wouldn't have been so late on that because I wouldn't have looked like a turd basket. Holy shit, dude. Okay, well, I guess we're good now. We are not a cop and we have a cop looking car. I wonder if he actually got a traffic stop on him though. Is that him up there? That's him. I'm just gonna drive on by. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. That was all him. I'm trying not to get pulled over, you know what I mean? Just trying to keep it legit. This is a car I want to drive. This is my daily driver. And as long as I don't uh, do anything stupid, I should be good. I got an idea. I want, like, window tint on this bitch. You know what I mean? Like, that would be fucking sick. So I'm going to go to my buddy who's in Sandy Shores here who does window tint. This thing looks so fucking weird slammed like it is. Uh, I'm going to go to my buddy in here that does window tint. And we're going to have him do some window tint on this bitch. That way, because we're not going to really ever activate lights, so there's not a real reason to... Then again, I have a feeling we're going to get fucked with. If we have, like, super dark window tent, we're just going to be... <laughs> oh my god, we're fucking with everyone's mind right now. Be this guy right here. Hey man, I need a quick window tent job. You're the only guy I know and that does it in two seconds, so let's get it done. Window tent, pure black. Oh, that looks so much better. Oh, that black to white to black to white to black to white. That looks so good. Holy shit. Oh, just scratch the shit on that. That's not what I wanted to do. Fucking shit. We're just gonna fix that because we were still on property. Okay, so let's look at this thing really quick before we... Before we take off out of here. So we've got it lowered. We've got our black and yellow plate on it. We've got our spotlights facing up. And we've got, I wonder what it would look like if the spotlights were facing down, but technically just not on the vehicle, because that's... Uh, maybe that's not a possible thing. Okay, well, never mind. I guess the spotlights are staying in an on position, so that's no big deal. You gonna get out of here? There you go, I know why you slowed down, I'm not a real cop. See the license plate? Hashtag not a cop. I want to go do some, uh aggressive driving in this thing. You know what I mean? Kind of see if we can get away with some shit. Come on, birds. Get the fuck out of the way, you stupid motherfuckers. Yeah, we've got to we gotta go try to do some aggressive driving. Now, that's the shittiest part is there's no roads out here that you can really drive fast on without it being a fucking, uh, still a patrolled road. Like, what the fuck? And that guy got pulled over yet again. You are really doing a fantastic job, my guy. And that guy's been sitting there forever. All right, we're going to go find some areas to do some shit because I want to see how this thing handles after customizing it. That cop still chilling over here? Nope, looks like he's not. Let's just hit it really quick. Let's actually get on the highway and go hit it and see if we could pass a cop at like 100. Oh, that would be so good. I mean, it's a speeding ticket. It's just a speeding ticket, so... Fuck it. Let's, let's try to go at like... 80. You know what I mean? Are those two bikers? Yeah, those are two bikers. Holy shit. Oh, they're doing some jank shit. I'm following them. Watch this. Hold on. I'm gonna just smash. Oh, they are gone, bro. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. I think they might be going for me. Oh no. Oh no. I think they're going for me. I think they're going for me. <laughs> no, that's not good at all. 
Oh, I fucked up big time. I fucked up big time. Who would have thought that there would have been a fucking highway patrol car there? Oh no, I got a cutting dip up this. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, bro. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good at all. It was supposed to be calm. It was supposed to be relaxing. Oh no. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. Shit, this thing rips it though. Oh, it's so good. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm, I'm, I'm the only guy driving a black and white fucking charger. Like, and I was going like 115 miles per hour. Okay, I gotta get the police scanner on my phone really quick. We're gonna listen to this shit. We're gonna listen to this shit. Here we go. I got it. We'll see. It's a little late, so we're not gonna know if it's- <laughs> if they're looking for me, but I got the police scanner up. Oh, fucking shit. Let's do me take out phone. And pulls. Okay, there we go. Takes out phone and pulls out police scanner at plus. Oh, man. Holy shit. What the fuck? That was not... I saw two bikers. They were smashing. Fucking A. We're gonna have to take this bitch home. Or I could just take my ticket. I don't hear anything about the reckless car. I don't- I don't hear anything about it. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh man, how did that just happen? I saw those two bikers. I got aggressive. What I wanted to do is I wanted to scare them and drive reckless with them. But then I- I don't know if that Tahoe... ...knew... That I was, was not a cop. Maybe they thought the graphic didn't load. Maybe they weren't going for me. Maybe they were pulling over the bikers. I don't know because I came in too late with the police scanner. I think the best thing to do is to just see if they pull me over. You know what I mean? Like if they pull me over, they pull me over. Um, if not, I guess they don't. Even though I'm pretty sure they're going to have an active bolo. But I guess we're just going to have to see. We were going 120 plus. We, if, if, if that was the case, we'll just have to let him pull us over and get a public endangerment and get arrested for it. I mean, that's just, might as well. We've already drove. I'm trying to hear if I can hear anything. Oh shit, here we go. Five zero twenty three. be advised, I'm on the lookout for a Police to be a decommissioned Dodge Charger. No! Uh, I'm unaware. It was going really fast. Uh, last thing going southbound, just route one. Okay, shit. If I could get a 1071 Oh no, there's a cop right there. Oh fuck, dude, this is not good. This is not good. Three three five to that Sierra unit. Um, driver is actually. Black and red jacket. May have another occupant in the vehicle with him. He was at the sheriff's. He was at the sheriff's station in Sandy earlier. Oh, this is a good. Did you ever get an ID on him? Uh, negative. I'm gonna pull up at home and I'm gonna see if and they four. see my car while driving and patrolling. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, fuck me sideways, dude. What the fuck? Goddamn police scanner. That is, that's it. I knew it. I'm gonna see if they, uh... I'm gonna pretend to... Okay, I'm gonna say... Slash me goes... Inside... Home. So, I'm gonna go invisible. That way... I Because I can't obviously go inside that house. But I want to keep an eye on the cop car, but I don't want to just be standing out in front. So, yeah, I'm gonna Charlie keep an eye on... To ...out here. So, okay, so from what I can pick up from the police scanner that I'm listening to, it seems as, as, seems as if I was the reason why that Tahoe, 
uh, decided to take off. They did, I guess, realize almost immediately that it was a decommissioned police vehicle. That was the first time I think that actually hit the radio because that other guy chirped in and said that I came to the police station or the sheriff's station. So, I don't know. It's it's going to be one of those things where if someone drives by, they're going to be like, uh, a copy, I got that decommissioned police car in uh, front of a property here, and then hopefully we can get out of a ticket because we're at home. You know, I don't know. I'm going to hope to God that's how it goes. I'm getting a nice little thumbnail while we're sitting here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang out and hopefully a police car passes. Um, I'm going to make it extra sunny. I want them to be able to see it. I want to see if someone's paying attention off to the left, especially when there's not many trees out here right now. Let's just see if it's actually something that can pop off. You know what I mean? That would be cool because we can have a little conversation here. I don't think they could uh, get anything off of it since it's too long of an, of an elapsed time. Um, but they have my description. They know exactly what I look like. And they have my vehicle. So it's there's no hiding at this point. It's just pretty much whoever decides to go around on this street. Now I'm trying to figure out if I should I aid them a little or should I just let them come on their own and just kind of see if they happen to make their way down here. Um, it might be impossible because like, who knows if someone's going to choose to drive on Sandy and if they or Joshua or 68 there and if they do why the fuck are they going to look off to the side especially with these dumbass motherfuckers like are you serious? Like if I go anywhere else it's just going to make it bad because I won't be able to get there in enough time you know what I mean like it's not going to be possible to get there without them seeing me okay so I've been here for so long that traffic is just dumb so we're gonna take off out of here pretend like we just left our house I'm gonna go to player options what's up buddy did not mean to do that Oh wait, that's the bolo. That's the weasel news. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy oh my shit. God. Somebody's shooting. Everyone run. Everyone's gonna die. <laughs> he was legit. Actually, I'm on my property. I'm gonna grab my gun. on. <laughs> North Marina Drive. Who was it? Coast, Who was it? Seven, four, five, I believe. You motherfucker! Correction. Stay away from my property or I'll kill you. Good God. This isn't good. Are you in a marked cruiser? <laughs> there we go. Negative. Oh. Would you like a marked cruiser on the team? Fucking punk. This is my property. I should go inside. I don't want to get fucked with. I want this to work out perfect. Nice. Does no one uh, hear the uh, gunshots? Does no one hear the shit that's popping off right now? He ain't dead. Holy shit. Squad 22, any available LEO units? There is a abandoned blue, I believe, two doors, or, sorry, question. Blue, four doors, sports car, blue, red right cross. I'm gonna front. kill these. The vehicle appears to be abandoned at the top. Holy shit. This is like the biggest gang war I've ever. Oh shit, I hear a siren. I hear a siren, I hear a siren. Again, I want to stay low key. 3 Charlie 412, I'm going to be code 6 in the area of the Rebel Radio Station Postal 673. I have shots fired in the area. Unknown direction. Route 68. 
on dirt roads. It's going to be the Rebel radio station 673, unknown direct location. I'm just hearing semi-automatic gunfire. I got one more. Be whiskey, two for nine, any two, and one one. Wait, the gonna be in oh shit, alright, here we go. I gotta, I gotta do this. I gotta kill Fish those guys. Fish I'm gonna punch this guy to death. Go ahead. He's coming around the corner. Uh, up, never. He have a, oh shit, he has a gun. Unit 52 be advised, we have multiple individuals down, 6, 7, 8, behind, uh, 24, 7. 3 Charles 412, I have an individual with a gun in the road near US Route 68 behind the 24, 7. Description. It's gonna be a white I want them to be able to talk to me about the um, black and white thing, but I want them to come across my house. You know what I mean? Like I'm trying to do it a little better. Behind the sheriff's, or excuse me, the 24/7 at this time, if they could advise. I think they'll see my car. I'm gonna go fucking punch this guy. It's gonna be postal six seven eight building fourteen seventy five. Oh, he's dying. <laughs> he's dying. He dead. I'm gonna clear this. Watch this. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna come outside and be like, what happened? You know what I mean? Hey, the back windows rolled down. Oh my god, heard all that yeah. gunshots. What the fuck happened? Um, well, that's what we're trying to figure out, sir. Um, is this your car? Yeah, I fucking live here. Okay. Um... Where'd you hear the gunshots coming from exactly? Like, you legitimately know? outside. I was Literally ducking and covering up in this bitch, and someone shot my goddamn window. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, I know we have units looking around the area. Uh, we're just trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, but there's also a separate issue going on that I'm not too concerned about right this moment, I am just concerned about the shots being fired, but I am concerned about the car as well. I think he's talking about... Uh, but give us just a second, we're gonna try to figure out exactly what's going on here. Uh, just stay here, do you have an ID or anything on you? Shit. Yeah, my name's Danny DeVito. Hey man, just a question, you okay from the shot? No, yeah, I was good, I was just inside watching TV and all of a sudden, pop, 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 I thought the TV show got super real for a second. I just witnessed a uh, sport like green and okay. white uh, doing wheelies down. <laughs> this is not what I wanted. Sport. I have like 50 fucking Did, cops uh, here. Is this guy the guy that was shooting or is, was she just in the area? Uh, he was just in the area. He claims he was in his house watching TV. Can't his his shot car TV. is wanted yeah. though. I do have a bolo for him. Wanted. Say oh, bolo, not wanted. wanted. Alright, let's get, uh, uh, we don't need this many cars unmarked. for a wanted uh, vehicle. Let's get more units in the area, uh, um, looking for this for guy that's shooting. And, uh, let's stop that car for, uh, blue headlights. Alright? Cool. <laughs> Seems like shit. How does he get blue headlights? Uh, this car is wanted? What's, uh, what's this wanted for? Yeah, what is it wanted for? Um, what's the vehicle description of this car? I'm gonna turn off the police radio. Okay, thank you. Uh, Darren, uh, I wasn't too concerned about the car being wanted at this point, but I'm gonna bring it up anyways, just because of the fact that there was police shooting, so... Uh, but the car is wanted for reckless driving and speeding on US Route 1, going over... Oh, that's only tickets. ...100 miles an hour. Oh, shit. Oh. And I'm gonna go ahead and run Danny DeVito, make sure he's okay. Alright. Um, sir, are you... Are you aware of uh, your vehicle being wanted for going speeds over a hundred? I mean, no, I've been home for quite some time. I remember I went to the sheriff. I picked up the car. I went to the sheriff's office. Okay. Oh! I, w I went to the oh pick God. up the car. Yeah, need to get a new okay. Thing. Went to the sheriff's office and then I went home and I've been here ever since watching TV. So I actually I took this guy around town too. the guy. I don't even why. Why the fuck are you oh, here? Yo. 
Why the hell are you here? Oh, I live, I live there. I live, I live right That's there. That's bullshit. Because I live here. You haven't been there the I whole time I've lived here. <gasps> I moved in last week. They they put it up for sale last night. Oh, this is some bullshit, and I officer. Managed to get around to buying it. <laughs> like, ah. so all right. Well, hey, buddy, go go back over to your property. All right. If we need to come talk to you, we will. Also, you have illegal headlights. All right. So we'll, we'll yeah, come talk illegal to you in a All right. So um, like an asshole, there. Right, I mean, if you were, if you were just uh, in your house when the shots came out, did you call nine one one or? No, I wasn't the one in there. It's like they all started busting off. I hit the floor. Okay. All right, I don't know why everybody pulled up here, but all right. Well, no, so I'm, I'm sure someone uh, called the cops. I listen to the, I'm, I'm into police and stuff like that. I like this car, you know, I got scanners in the house. Someone around in one of these houses called the cops. It sure as hell wasn't me though. I was on the fucking ground kissing the floor. Okay. All right, I got you. My, uh, my sergeant over here is going to probably speak to you about the, uh, your vehicle being wanted. Uh, but as far as the shots fired, I, I have nothing else. Yeah. Right, um, let's get let's get the rest of the units out of here. I might be able to get um, out of this because he didn't shooting. see me uh, technically driving it. So. All right. Hey, uh, Commissioner. Hey, Mr. Devito. Yo, what's so, up? So, I just have a couple questions. Um, was anyone else uh, driving your vehicle or anything at all today? You said you were home this entire time. Um, I didn't actually end up catching a plate, but like Ooh. I said, this vehicle was wanted. No, I have been home the whole no. time after I went to the sheriff's station and I gave that guy a little roundabout in the car. That guy that I gave the roundabout to that says he's a fucking neighbor somehow, he was hella interested in this car. Like, no fucking joke. So I don't know if he, uh, hold on one sec. So I don't know. I don't know if he went and got one and did some shit, but I literally have been here the whole time. So I, I don't know what... I didn't even take Route 13 to get home. That's not even how I would get home. Okay. Um... And your car's been with you the entire time? Well, I mean, I don't have cameras that face outside the house or anything like that, so... I'm the only one that has a key, so... I would assume the car has been here the whole time. Okay. Like I said, that dude, that dude out. I was with was su he was fucking weird as shit, and there was an officer standing there listening to our conversation. He was asking me, he was like, yo, let's go down to the motel and let me talk to you about some stuff, let me ask you, I want to ask you some questions about this car. And then we did a ride and he was asking me questions about what I had in it and all this shit, and where to get it, and it's like, I don't know. I, I know it's my car, I only have one car, that's it. I'm not gonna do anything stupid in that one car. Okay. Did you ever tell the officers uh, about this suspicious person that you were talking about? Like I said, the officer, when I walked out of the station and when I was done talking to the guys, uh, he was out there waiting for me to get done after following me into the station. So the officer that followed me out after we got done talking listened to about, I would say, 85% of our conversation and then walked off. But he heard all the stuff about how curious he was and shit. Okay. Do you have a possible like description or one? It was that. On this it was that guy that rolled up right here. That's why I said, "What the fuck are you doing here?" Oh. And he says, "I live next door." It's that bald guy with no shirt and that weird. Le I, it's not. I would say maybe animal fur on the inside and then whatever a cotton on the okay. inside and then that regular like leather on the outside. No shirt. Weird looking. And he's right, that, he's that's good enough for me. And he's also the one on the dirt bike, I think, with an illegal headlight. Okay. Um I, I will tell you this. This I haven't seen a lot of these cars on the road, so I I'm not going to give you any citations oh, today score. for the fact that I can't be for certain that this is your car. Sure there's not a lot of these on the road, so I can pretty much <laughs> try to pin you with it, but I'm not going to because I, I don't feel like it's necessary at this point in time. He's gonna watch the video. That, <laughs> that was uh, you said you've been here all day. Um, oh, shit. The car is obviously here. You haven't gave the car to anyone. I'm definitely gonna talk to the individual who said he wanted your car. Uh, well, he wanted a car like, like it. He wanted a car it? like it, and he was asking where to get it, if the equipment on it 
came with it and all that stuff and that's that's what I'm saying. He was super eager okay. to figure out everything he could within a very short amount of time. I wonder if he took your car maybe for like a little joyride or something. I mean maybe, but I don't see how he would have been able to move it forward if I had the key inside the house. They only gave me one key and the only way that car unlocks is if it's in my pocket. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay, I'm just going to let you go for a break. Yeah. I'm going to let you go for a break. I'm not too concerned. All right. Well, I appreciate uh, it. I'm sorry for any second. confusion, but I'll, yeah, I'll wait right here. I'll be on the porch. Oh, yeah. You're okay. Hold on. Hey, man. Just a question. So, I spoke with the reason guy. Um, okay, so do you have a here front light? Uh, Buster Bar? Came in. Yep. Fire. Cameras show that. Is it, um, uh... Like ambers, things like that, or no? All the cars are, all the lights are on are red and blue. That shit just came out of the uh, police department maybe like a week ago. The dealer said. Okay, man. Well, uh, just make sure you don't go hit in those. I know you know the law, but you know. I stopped by the sheriff uh, station earlier and had a chat with all the guys about my car, and they looked at it and all that stuff. I saw your uh, plate come back to you. I saw you back at the mechanic shop on US Route 60. Was that you? Yeah, I had an appointment to get a lowered. I got some tint on it, and I put a turbo kit. Um, you know, I'm trying to... I want to keep the look of it, but I also want it to be like a sleeper. Yeah. Well, it looks nice, man. I appreciate it. Unfortunately, that's going to pin for all this other bullshit, but... Well, yeah. Um, hopefully, uh, you get clear from that, man. Well, he said he was going to cut me a break. I mean, like I said, I didn't do much, but the only person I could think of that could have went over there really quick and got one and done some dumb shit is that, uh, that one guy, I don't know, whoever the fuck is that lives next door, who didn't live next door a week so, ago. So that's your uh, crackhead neighbor, you broke your family. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I think he's been giving you guys problems all day. I, I saw him do some dumb shit earlier in Sandy Shores when I had just picked up the car. Got oh, pulled over by two sheriff good. guys, almost hit my car. It was real cool. We're gonna need a bigger fence, man, or uh, something to keep that dude out. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, so you mind if I go to your backyard real quick? Go to my backyard? Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind. Okay. So the officer, he's just gonna take a quick look around your backyard. Um. So basically. I don't have anything for you. I'm not going to be giving you any citations or any warnings or anything. Because I can't be down to the T that this is the vehicle that I saw. It definitely looks like it, but I never got a plate. So I'm not going to pin you with that, okay? Um, but I'm just going to wait on my officer, checking around the backyard, and then we'll go from there, okay? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, this shit's so fresh that I got my plates, but I'm sure in your system it'll show that it's still registered to the police department, but that DMV lady said it'll clear right. in a few days. Okay. And you said someone shot at your, shot at your window? I, I don't know. I would assume in the gun battle that was going on out here, a bullet hit the window. I see it. It might not be universal, but... No, I... I mean, the back window, the back passenger window is shot out, it looks like. I'm not seeing that. Uh, God dang, it looks like the aliens took my car again. They love taking cars. That's why all these cars are decommissioned, because they're taking our cars. Yeah, that's it. Well, you might want to get your uh, window fixed, man, so... Yeah, I'm going to work on that. Definitely wasn't expected to have to add that on to the list. I'm gonna see what my officer has to say, and then we'll get out of your hair, okay? Yep, that works. All right. Again, that was a perfect way to get the cops here, and that's kind of all I wanted. I wanted to see what they would do about me speeding and the fact Sorry, that it was so long and all that. Uh, it's all good. I was just watching the uh, Soflanos, so you know, catching up. <laughs> Soflano, Sopranos, Soflanos. Oh God. Oh, that's a nice show.
This has been an interesting episode. Oh, season 300. Oh, okay, that's nice. Yep. Yeah, dedicated my whole life to this show. <laughs> I kind of lost it in then. You uh, like to sit in your house all day? Well, when I'm not working on my car, I'm usually inside or driving around doing some shit. Well, you're uh, pretty far. Gotta say that's dedication. Yeah, yeah, I would say. What are they talking about? I want to hear them. What's talking about the register registration? My registration. Uh, the registration on the car. Yeah, uh, it looked fine to me. when I ran yeah, it. Yeah, but I ran I, I ran the VIN. I ran the VIN, and it's um, registered to LSPD still. Uh, Didn't I just tell him about that? that? Things are getting a little bit uh, hairy out here, so. Okay. I'll have to clarify. I did not see that. He did tell me that it's going to take a couple of days or whatnot. The lady at the DMV already talked to him. Okay. Yeah, uh, go ahead so he, he, did, he did inform me about that. Uh, but yeah, I'll let him know just to make sure that gets dealt with. I'm not going to sign him right because, like I said, yeah, yeah. I, I, I can't confirm this is the car. But it definitely <laughs> looks like it. Okay, man. Well, I'm going to head out. You have a good one, man. Be safe. Absolutely. You too. Okay, Mr. DeVito, we're gonna go ahead and get on out of your hair. Uh, obviously, like you already stated to me, just go ahead and make sure this car gets registered to you soon enough uh, through the DMV. Well, it is. They uh, gave me the obviously. plates. They just said it will take a few days to go through in the system before everyone sees it. Right. Correct. That, that's fine. As long as you have the plates and we can look up, like, your temporary registration or anything like that, then we're not gonna have an issue. Uh, hopefully... We won't have to see you. We're going to go ahead and get on out of your hair for the rest of the night. Uh, you have a safe rest of your night. Uh, if you hear any gunshots, again, go ahead and call 911 for us, okay? All right, that works. I appreciate it, guys. Um, you take care. Take care, sir. You too. All right. I have to find my car because I... There we go. I'm going to turn my hazards off. But I would say that was a successful fucking role play of the ex-police car with my headlights on, looking like I just pulled up. There we go. Technically, I'm on my property and I can't turn my red and blues on. Slash me goes inside. There we go. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be where we wrap this one up. I would say that was 10 out of 10. And this car is good. Obviously, if I do jank shit in it, they're going to see it. It's going to track me down. But luckily, this one, I was able to get away. So, that was 10 out of 10. So, thank you so much for coming out and watching this episode of DOJRP. And we will see you next video.